Today we're going to talk about replacing the tracks on a Cat 289C. I broke one of my tracks last week. Ordered these from MWE. They're the heavy duty service. They showed up in one business day. I was very impressed from Washington down to Oregon. So the first thing I did is blocked up the uh, track, the rear of the track, put some blocks underneath there to get it up about three inches, backed up on it, and then cut a block to fit underneath here so I can raise the front end off, off the ground. Now, if you're like me, I watched a lot of videos, and most of them show the John Deere, which has this pivot point a little bit further back, so you can put the blocking in first while the cat design you can't do that because the angle uh, is right in line with the roller so it won't work like on the John Deere. The other tool I had is handy uh, Harbor Freight little winch here to help uh, lift and maneuver the tracks. I'm doing this 100% by myself here and first track took me probably about an a little over an hour to do. We're gonna let the grease out through uh, this fitting right here. It's a three-quarter inch. It's probably actually, sorry, 19 millimeter. You just loosen it up. This one does not come out. It backs up and then it'll stop. So don't keep cranking on it. And some people say that you can just jump up and down on the track and it'll loosen this thing. Well, I don't I don't know. I've never gotten that to work. I've had to uh use uh come along between there and the back. Seems to be the easiest. Just takes a few seconds to hook that up. Also, some places will show John Deere uh, putting a block in between here. Well, it's a little hard to do by yourself. So I'm just going to slap, come along on there and let the pressure out, let the grease out. Okay, I got the front end off the ground. And it's going to drift down. But at this point, hopefully... And beat this block out of there and uh, I have my handy dandy uh, Harbor Freight hoist that is indispensable uh, for doing this by yourself if you got a skid steer that work pretty good too so I'm gonna let the grease out and get the track off okay I'm gonna place a couple blocks of wood in here and try to roll the track around that front, see if that'll work. I gotta raise it up some more anyway because it's leaking down. And uh, I need to get the back end off the ground a little bit more to get those blocks out there. Okay, with the first two uh, blocks, that, that worked. But uh, again, I got about two or three more inches to go here. So I think overall probably would've been easier to just put the come along on. Just for fun, I'm going to run these blocks backwards. Okay, after running the 2x6 and another inch and a half on top through there, that took out most of the slack there. Okay, I have put the chain around about up here and with a slight angle so I can pull, pull it and get it off the sprocket. See, now I can just about get it off of here, go up a little bit higher. Okay, got it up off of the sprocket. It took less than a minute. I had to put another chain down a little bit lower here to help get it off the sprocket. That was no problem. Now I got to get it off of the bottom rollers. Okay, I 
put a piece of wood in there started lifting over here again with the angle helping to pull the slack around and get that worked off the back end okay so it's leaked down enough here in the front that I got to raise it back up I got it off the back end so far um, going pretty good okay I used a piece of two inch uh, conduit to pry it against here in the track and along the bottom and broke free in oh, about a minute so now I'm going to wrap the chain around the front here and pull it off of there with the truck okay using a piece of two inch conduit I pried between here and the frame in various places and got it off the back end in about, I don't know, two minutes or so. Now I'm going to take this chain, hook it onto the truck and just uh, pull the whole thing out. I don't care what they show you on some of the videos, you have to manhandle this and and they don't roll as near as good as what you think because they're so heavy. They droop down in here and catch on the on the sprocket teeth using my awesome farm rig here I'm gonna yard out the the track so I don't know if these were the original cat tracks or not I got the machine at about 1300 hours put about 700 hours on them and I think they were okay I'm using it in the woods and a lot of rocky conditions so they do get thrashed um, I, I had a lot of trouble with them detracking and uh, I don't know we'll see if these new tracks are any better I was not real impressed my ASV RC100 I never had the tracks come off and uh, these I've had come off lots of times and it's no fun when you're out in the woods trust me okay now I have new track lined up alongside I'm using my hoist to get some of the weight off and I'm gonna slide the track underneath hopefully without issue okay I got lucky and got the front right on and now I'm gonna use the sledgehammer to beat this on the rubber is really sticky so it doesn't want to slide on the concrete too well. Okay, I got the track mostly on. Um, however, when I was moving it around to raise up the front end, I knocked it off of my main support, but I had my safety blocking underneath. But what that did is it uh, dropped this rear wheel down enough to where I can't uh, get it underneath. So, I got it on the sprocket and uh, the front end and that's the most important part. I'm going to stick a block of wood in here and uh, run it around backwards and see if I can't get it to pop on. Okay the new track had enough traction on the ground to just pull me off of my blocks holding it up but I've got a couple rollers in properly. So I'm going to stick a couple blocks of wood in here, drive forward, up and over, and pop it back on. Okay, I've got it up on the block, and uh, drive forward a little bit more, and hopefully it'll pop right on. We'll see. Alright, bam, went right on. So I'm going to pump some grease in here, and see how it goes. Okay, this took about an hour and 15 minutes to do this track. Part of it, of course, was video time, but it uh, came out really nice. These uh, tracks run really smooth so far, a lot better than the old ones. Uh, despite whatever the manual says, I don't care. If you run them as loose as what they say, you're going to have problems. I'm running about a finger width here, and... Uh, We'll see. Obviously those guys have never had it out in the woods or any kind of rough situation. Maybe that's all right on pavement or gravel. But when you're uh, actually using this machine for 
hard work. I don't think their uh, tension spec is near uh, correct.